Hey guys, Natalia here with Mom's Dish and I am so happy you're back because we're making another bread recipe and this one is so crispy, crunchy and nice bubbles on the inside. I'll cut into it in a minute, but it's amazing. And we brought out the Dutch oven. You have been asking for this version, so we're gonna use our Dutch oven, oven for this. <laughs> so let's get started. For the ingredients, we will need some lukewarm water, about 110 degrees, no warmer than that because that will kill your yeast, so keep it at 110 degrees. Then we have some salt, some yeast, and white flour is what I typically use. I get Canadian brand white flour because it works the best in this bread recipe, but here's a few alternatives. If you can't get your hands on Canadian flour, I have a few brands that I really like. So, Bob's Red Mill is one of the brands. This is wheat flour. But if you can get the white flour, that's amazing. It works great, I use it all the time too. So if you're gonna come back and tell me this bread didn't work out, the first question I'll ask you is, what brand of flour did you use? Because that makes a huge difference. So get either Bob's Red Mill white flour or Canadian flour, whatever you can get your hands on. Okay, so let's combine everything together in this bowl. Uh, I'm gonna start with flour. So we're gonna do three cups of flour. I kind of eye it, so three cups, two, and three, come on. Okay, so we're gonna add some salt. My mom told me last time that I didn't add enough salt, so one teaspoon of salt will probably be good for my mom. If you don't like salty bread, you can tone it down a little bit and some yeast. Then I like to toss this together and then we're gonna add water into the mix. The water is still warm. We're gonna pour this in, and I like to pour in, well, let's just do all of it. Sometimes I do half, sometimes I do all of it. It really depends on the mood. <laughs> I like to use a flat spatula like this and just kind of press it in and go in like circular motion and just collect all of that flour on the bottom of the dough or on the bottom of the bowl, I mean. So this is the texture that you want to have in the dough. Incorporate all the flour, but it's still a little dry on the outside. It will be perfect the next day, I promise you. You'll see amazing bubbles the next day, and that's what you're looking for. Okay, let's cover it in plastic, and we will set this aside, come on, <laughs> for 24 hours. There you go, perfect enough. Okay, I'll show you the result of this dough. And the magic of overnight dough, look at these bubbles. It is perfect. Unless your yeast is not fresh, this should definitely happen to your dough as well. So we're gonna form it into a bread loaf and I'll show you the rest. Look at these bubbles. I'm gonna rip a few so you can see what happens. Look at this one. Like, are you kidding me? I love it. And you saw how the dough was pretty stiff and now it's pretty like sticky and that's totally fine. That's what we want. So we'll form it into a one ball in here and then I'll transfer it to a baking sheet. So let's do this. Scrape off the sides. It's pretty sticky. That's why I don't want to use my hands. I'm using this little spatula, which I love. Okay, let's flour the surface. And I am not gonna be using a baking sheet, I'm just using it for a surface here. So, we're gonna put some flour on a parchment paper. So you will need to use a parchment paper. That's what we'll use for baking part. So, let's put some flour on top. Perfect. And now we're gonna scoop this out. Just like this. And you wanna aim for the flour because you don't want this to stick to the parchment paper, you wanna be able to work the dough. Come on. <laughs> okay, set this aside. And then I'm gonna flour my hands, flour the top, and I'm gonna form it into a round shape. You can form it into whatever shape you want. Round shape will work the best because if your uh, Dutch oven is round, this is what you want to shape it to be as well. Cover your hands into a flour that you have on a surface or just get more out of there and we're gonna shape the dough. So I like to grab the bottom part and just kind of pull it in to make that round shape. If your Dutch oven is an oval shape, you can make it into that shape. It's really up to you. You can play around with this dough. 
So I just pull it together on the bottom, pinch it on the bottom, and I'm gonna place it just like so. And we will cover it with towel and give it about an hour. Look at this Ukrainian towel I have. <laughs> so we'll cover this up, give it an hour, and I'll show you the rest of it. I have a little tip for you. If you want to speed up the process, set your oven to a proofing and it will actually have the perfect temperature for the dough to rise faster. But if you're not in a hurry, typically this is what I do. I wake up in the morning, I form the bread loaf and I let it sit on the counter space for about two hours. So it becomes like really large and it's not in a hurry to rise and it's amazing. So either way works, but it's really up to you. So as you can see, this got much larger. So what I like to do is just for the looks, I like to cut across the top towards like the, this side. That's what I'm gonna do. So I use a bread knife and that's what I will be using to cut this. But if you can get a really sharp knife, that works too. But be very gentle because you don't want the dough to get too stressed out <laughs> and drop on you. So as you can see when I'm cutting it, you can see the dough bubbles in here. Okay, this should be good enough. So my Dutch oven has been actually preheating at 425. It's super hot, you have to be careful. Ooh, it's steamy too. So I grabbed the sides of the parchment paper and I put it on the inside just like so. And now I'm gonna cover the top. This is also really hot, so you wanna preheat it. Um, I got this Dutch oven actually at Target, it's super cute. Uh, it's perfect for bread, so I'm gonna just keep it for breads only. Um, but let me cover it. I'm gonna put all the parchment paper on the inside. I'm gonna cover the bread and we'll bake it covered for 30 minutes and then we will remove the lid and we'll bake it for another 15 minutes, uh, 425. Whoa, I can't do that. I need this. <laughs> Remember to get your gloves on. So now for the last 15 minutes, I am gonna remove the lid and look at this bread. It's like you can almost see it on the outside. It's beautiful, it has a little bit of a crust, but we're gonna give it 15 more minutes without the lid. That's what will give us that golden crust. So I'll be back in 15 minutes. For you, it's probably gonna be two seconds. <laughs> and the bread is ready. It smells so good in my house. Guys, so I like to pull it out of the pan with the parchment paper. Let's see if I can grab both the edges. Come on. There you go. And then you have to let it sit in the room temperature until it cools down just a little bit, at least. Do you hear that? Tap, tap. It creates a really nice crispy crust. Oh, so beautiful. You guys, I brought out the jam from the other day. So if you saw that video about the jam, that's what we're having with the bread today. Okay, let's get into this. You still hear that? Still crispy on the outside, I am so excited. I don't even know which way to cut it. I'm gonna cut it like this, right in the center. Do you hear that? Beautiful. My family came over about two weeks ago and I made this bread and they were like so impressed. My mom was asking, how do I do this? And my mom has been baking bread for probably 30 years. She's like an expert in the family with bread baking. Moment of truth. Look at this. It's steamy hot. It is perfection. Like, I love it. Perfect for grilled cheese. I don't know if it'll last till we get grilled cheese, but soft on the inside, nice and crispy on the outside. Obsessed. Love this version just as much as I love the other version because if you don't have a Dutch oven, you can make the other bread, but this is just as good. I love the smell of fresh bread. I'm gonna have our jam and some milk. And if you grew up in Ukraine, you can relate because this was the dessert of every evening. Mom would make fresh bread and milk from the farm and it was perfection. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in a childhood. I'm gonna bite into this. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. It seriously is, I'm going for more. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you love this recipe and try it, but if you don't have a Dutch oven, you can totally make it on a baking sheet and we have that recipe, we will link to it for you. And let me know which one you prefer. I would love to hear from you. 
and you have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Guys, meet our friend. His name is uh, Camera B. Camera B. Do you like it when people comment? <laughs> um, do you find it inspiring when people subscribe? Okay. We really enjoy doing this for you guys. So. Apparently we have a camera B on board now. Yeah, <laughs> so definitely join the family. I hope you don't miss out on any of our recipes, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And our family is uh, slowly growing. <laughs> that little baby. So I can't take it. With the recipe. <laughs>